The next task in this Compass Mini project is to create the outer circle with a dashed line. I'll start by hiding some of these grouped objects that I created earlier. I'll select each in turn and then use the keyboard shortcut Control 3 or Command 3 on a Mac. This dashed circle is what you need to create. So I'll just select and delete it so that we can start again. Then let's go to the Ellipse tool, which is in the Rectangle Tool group. I'll zoom in a bit so that I can work as accurately as possible. I'll position my cursor very carefully on the intersection of the guides, essentially the center point of the page. But I'm actually going to make a deliberate error. I'll position my cursor slightly off the center point. Often in Illustrator, even when you're being really, really careful, you'll sometimes find that you weren't being careful enough. And when accuracy is vitally important, you need to have an arsenal of techniques at your disposal so that you can spot and solve problems. So you don't end up having to go back and start something over. I'll hold down the Alter Option key and then I'll click. That does two things. It takes me into the Ellipse dialog box where I can enter the exact dimensions I want for this circle. In this case, 400 by 400. And when I OK it, the circle is created and centered at the point where I clicked. If you've watched the first tutorial in this mini project, you'll know that I set up an artboard that is 640 by 640 pixels. If you haven't watched the other tutorials in this project, I'll put a link to them in the show more extended description below this movie. Now I just want to check that my circle is actually centered on the artboard. Make sure that the circle is selected. I'll do that with the selection tool. Then let's focus on the transform area of the properties panel. In previous versions of Illustrator, you could go to Window, Transform to show the equivalent panel. I'll just close that down. Let's go back to the properties panel. What I'm interested in first is this matrix of proxy reference points. I'm going to click on the middle reference point. Effectively, I'm saying I want to work with reference to the center point of my selected object. Now, I don't know what your math is like. Mine is pretty lousy, but it's good enough to work out that half of 640 is 320. And if my X and Y values are not both 320, then my object is not centered on my artboard. Now that we know there's a problem, no problem because we can fix it by entering the correct 320 X and if necessary, Y values. You can press return or enter on the keyboard to apply those values. Perfect. My 400 by 400 circle is now centered on my page with complete numerical accuracy. Now let's get to work on the dashes. With the circle selected, working in the appearance pane of the properties panel, I'll click on the stroke box and I'll apply a light orange. Then I'll increase the stroke weight to 16 point. Next, I'm going to copy this circle, Control or Command C on a Mac. Then I'm going to go to Edit, Paste in Back. And whilst that backmost copy is still selected, this time I'm going to go to the Layers panel and click the Visibility button for the active object to hide it. I'll reselect the original circle. Now it's time to create the dashed line. Should be easy. In the Properties panel, I'll click on the Stroke Panel button and I'll switch on the Dashed Line checkbox. OK, what I get as a default is a 12-point dash and because the next gap field has got nothing in it, I'll also get a 12-point gap automatically. What if I tried 56 points? Press Return or Enter to apply. That looks OK. But take a closer look at the dash on the right at 3 o'clock. And that's a different length to the others. There is an option to the right of the dashed line checkbox 
that I could use to even out all the dashes and gaps. I'll click it. It's the second one along, so that you can see the result. This is a really useful, quick and easy control in many scenarios, so you need to be aware of it. But it's not what I want to use in this example. I'll click back on the default button to take me back to where it was. What we need to get the result I'm looking for is a bit of mathematical precision. Before I do anything else, I'll change the stroke colour to a darker orange. What I want for this circle is eight equal dashes and effectively eight equal gaps. The way to get an exact and accurate result is with a bit of math. I'll go to the layers panel where I've got a few extra layers set up to help explain what you need to know. The diameter of this circle is 400 pixels. We know that it's the measurement we typed into the ellipse dialog box. Pi, the mathematical concept, is a value of 3.14. We all know this because we studied math in school. Multiply 400 by 3.14 and it comes to 1256 and that's the radius of this circle. Divide 1256 by 16, that's eight dashes and eight gaps, and you'll come up with the value 78.5. Let's hide that explanation, go back to the Properties panel, click on Stroke, and enter in our magic number, 78.5. Press Enter or Return to apply. And there it is, a mathematically accurate series of equal dash gap patterns. Now let's go back to the Layers panel to show that circle that I hid earlier. And you can see the result. You now see the perfectly aligned darker circle through the gaps in the top circle. I'll marquee select both using the selection tool, then use Ctrl G or Command G on a Mac to group them together. To show all the other elements that I hid earlier, I'll use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt 3, that's Command Alt or Option 3 on a Mac. Notice in the Layers panel, that shows all objects on the active layer. It didn't show the hidden objects on my annotations layer. In the next tutorial in this mini project, I'll show you how to get the north, south, east and west into position. There's a link to the next and previous tutorials in this mini project sequence in the show more area at the bottom of this movie window. North, south, east or west, tell me I'm the one you like the best. Or you could just click the like if you like, or subscribe, that's even better. Or like and subscribe, that's even, even better. Thanks for watching, come back soon.